What's happening, you guys? It is Tuesday Night Fever. It's Alex here, and you know what that means. It's Tuesday Night Fever, y'all. Tonight, we are diving into one of the most potent formulas that I've ever seen for leveraging the Facebook algorithm and getting people to actually listen to what you're telling them. If you're listening here on the replay, I want you to comment and replay. If you're coming on live, just say live. I'd love to see you on here. This is something that just like blows my mind. When this happened, what's up, Caleb? Good to see you on here, man. When this happened uh, for a client, it was uh, within the past month. Um, a post just went absolutely bonkers for them. And then it just keeps happening for people. And I feel like we need to talk about this. <laughs> it works so dang well. And I don't see people using it nearly as much as they should. And I really want to hammer this home as to why it works, what's the formula, and tell you the story of how one of our clients uh, went from zero to 136 email subscribers in about three days. It might have taken four or five, but I just checked uh, in our ClickFunnels account where we have their funnel, and they're at 136 email subscribers. And uh, when they started, they had zero. <laughs> and it was all from one single Facebook post. And this has happened over and over and over again for people. And uh, I just wanted to flat out tell you, if you're not using this, you're probably missing out on a lot of the power of Facebook. Uh, Caleb says that he's coming in here live. Daxi says, dude. Russell says he's on here temporarily. Well, Russell, I would save this one and come back to it. Daxi, it's been a long time, man. You gotta listen to this. If you're not using the formula, dude, you have to. I've talked to you about it before, and I've seen you guys using it uh, a little bit recently, especially with your launch, man. Uh, Russell says, teach me, Obi-Wan. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Scott, you're coming on live. Good to see you. Scott and I run a mastermind call for an hour and a half. Uh, just finished that up. Scott, I'm excited for this, man. I don't know if you've seen this yet, Scott. It's in Social Secrets, our course. Um, so you may have seen this part of it, but I just want to show you the results that one of our clients got using this. Uh, Josh, good to see you on here. Michael as well. Mark, good to see you, man. Carl, Belisa, got a bunch of you on tonight. Thank you for coming on. Will and I, by the way, are so excited to see a bunch of you next week. Next week is SSPT Live. Will and I are speaking there. We absolutely can't wait. It's going to be crazy, you guys. There's 500 people coming in there, and um, we got to make some slides. <laughs> <laughs> we promised Greg that we would do better than making slides the night before our presentation. And uh, that deadline's coming up quick, so better get it done. Uh, we're really excited for what we're going to teach there. If you're not going to be there, oh, oh, we're going to have to live stream it or something. If you are going to be there, it's going to be ridiculous. And um, I can't wait for what we're going to share. But um, thank you guys for coming on tonight. Let's talk about Oh, but Dean's already starting. Dean says free. Thank you, Dean. Cherry, good to see you. Scott says you've seen it. It's awesome. Sweet. I'm excited to have you use it, man. Jeff. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely insane. Just taking notes there. And uh, Belisa says, hola, hola, Belisa. Gracias por venir. Trace, you got to learn how to get better at engagement, man. Listen up to this right now. Okay. So I'll give you the short version of what happened with our client. Um, but basically... We decided, hey, we have this resource, we have a, a lead magnet, and we can offer this lead magnet to people. But here's the wrong way of doing it that most of us default to. And that's, hey guys, I have this awesome free lead magnet. Uh, go to my website, here it is, and we post the link to the website. The end. Has anyone seen that before? Just <laughs> like little, give me thumbs up. Or love it if you've seen that before where someone's like, guys, I have this amazing thing. It's right here. Or if you've ever been tempted to do that, I would love to know how that turned out. <laughs> uh, that's the thing that most people try. It's just like, look, it's direct here. Here's this awesome thing. It's at this link. It's amazing, guys. It's the coolest thing ever. Here's the link. And there's crickets. There's like five people that like it. Maybe a couple people like, that's so exciting. Good job. But we totally fail to capitalize on the Facebook algorithm. And... I want to share with you tonight, if you haven't heard of it, I have what's called the perfect post formula. And I'm happy to drop you the link to a cheat sheet that I've made that's like step-by-step -step how to create it. In fact, I think, Jeff, you helped me create the perfect post formula cheat sheet. I can't remember. Maybe it was the cheat sheet just after that. Um, Jeff probably played a hand in it. But comment free below if you want that. I'll send it over to you. Uh, it'll also give you the opportunity to look at our social secrets course where we actually had one person who I talked with her today, she made one change from Social Secrets and got three patients in the past week from making one change on her Facebook profile. 
It took us literally five minutes. And she said she's got three new patients from it in the past week. I was like, yes, it works. Um, Sherry, glad to see you on here. You said that, yes, it's happened to you. Belisa says, thumbs down. Hasn't seen that before. Hopefully, good. <laughs> Uh, Amy says free, Russell says free. Sweet, I'll send it to you guys uh, tonight or early tomorrow. But the perfect post formula says this. Number one, we should create a curiosity-inducing headline. Number two, we should give them context for why they should care. Number three, a call to action. So with this client, what we did is we said, hey, here's the formula. Go post a picture. Go post an, a curiosity-inducing headline. Give context for why people should care and give a call to action. What we didn't say is, hey, Go post the link directly to the lead magnet. So they didn't do that because if that's what happens, then you get a couple people posting like, oh, that's cool. They might click like, but guess what? Like 5% of the people that would see that, your, that could potentially see your post would probably see it. 5% because you're posting a link. Facebook, by the way, does not like outside links. So if you're posting a link on Facebook, just know that they generally say, hey, look, that's taking someone off the platform. And how does Facebook make money? By keeping people on the platform. So if you're posting a link, what do you think they will do to your post? They will say, mm, thumbs down, don't show it to a bunch of people. If, on the other hand, we contrast that to a post that says, hey, look, I have this, this like, let me get your attention real quick. This is interesting. And here's why you should care about it, because this is something that really matters to you. And here's what you should do as a result. Comment below and I'll send it to you. And then we get a bunch of people commenting. Well, Facebook takes that engagement and says, oh, this post must be awesome. Sweet. We should show it to more people. So they do. And every time someone comments, they show it to more people. So when you have a lead magnet or when you have something that you want to launch, maybe it's a Facebook group, maybe it's a lead magnet, maybe it's um, a new video that you want to do. Maybe it's, heck, maybe it's even a, a really good blog post that you put hours and hours into and you're like, Post it and show the link and five people see it. Instead, use this perfect post formula. I dive deep into it on this cheat sheet. So if you want that, again, just comment free. But the, the gist of it is this. We start with a curiosity-inducing headline. And I want you to think when you're writing that, think to yourself, is this going to stop someone from scrolling through their newsfeed? And I've talked about this post formula before. I think it is really worth revisiting because it's still by and far the most successful single formula that I've seen used online uh, on Facebook for getting people to, to sign up for things. So you gotta think, will this stop someone in their tracks? And I was writing one of these formulas today with a client uh, on a call live and they had the headline of basically um, my story. We'll just shorten it and say my story. Well, that isn't very curiosity inducing, right? Now they had a few more words than that. It was something like uh, my story with this thing. Instead, we decided, well, how could we make that more curiosity-inducing? The very first line of your post, I really think, should make people stop and think, oh, what are they talking about? That's the first part of it. If I can get someone to stop and read, then I give them context for why they should care, right? I make the headline about them, not about me. And that's what I see most people going wrong. Facebook should not be about you, you, you. It should be about your people, your people, your people. So if you can make Facebook, if you can make your posts, even on Instagram, same thing, about your audience, not about you, then they're going to care so much more about it. Now, should you tell your story? Yes. But in your copy, at least the very first line, it should get attention enough. Now, could it be something like, hey, today I failed completely? Sure, totally. Totally could be. Now, is that about you? Does it drive curiosity though? Yes, it does. So you gotta drive curiosity. More often than not, you're gonna wanna talk directly to your person. Talk about things they care about. Curiosity-inducing headlines. Okay, that's the, the best copywriting advice I can give you is when that very first line, just stop and think, would I stop to read this? Because we're competing for a lot of other like cat videos, right? Like you're competing against cat videos, <laughs> literally. So is your thing curiosity inducing enough? And really to get at the heart of that, I should do a whole video on this, but to get at the heart of that, you should look at what do your people actually care about? Is it some change in their life? Is it something that they don't have? Is it getting away from pain? Is it moving towards pleasure? What's that thing? We should write about that. Number two, context for why they should care. We got to paint the picture that if they don't get this thing right, they're going to miss out on something. 
So for example, in this post right now, by the way, y'all are coming in hot and heavy tonight, 37 comments. I gotta, I gotta catch up. I will, I promise. Uh, by the way, give me a like or a love if this is, if you like in this, it helps more people see it. Uh, it, it helps us out and uh, it plays to the Facebook algorithm, right? Oh, all those loves are coming in now, the likes. Jasmine, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I can't wait to see you this week. Um, but I gave a curiosity-inducing headline, the Facebook post formula that drove almost 200 comments and 136 new opt-ins in the past month, right? Induces curiosity. Wait, what's the formula? Number two, here's why it works so well, right? Leading into the next part. Here's step-by-step -step how to use the perfect post formula to stop ca casual Facebook scrollers in their tracks and get them to ravenously engage with your content. We, I know that that's something that we all want, right? And it gets you to stop and watch the video. But I know that if I get you to stop and watch the video, I can deliver you something really freaking good. And if I don't do that, if I'm really boring and I say something like, I don't know, how to get really good at Facebook. I don't know, that's, that's actually decent, but <laughs> decently bad. Uh, then you wouldn't stop and listen and you wouldn't be able to get the information and use it. So I know that in order to make you be able to change your behavior, which is the ultimate goal of learning anything, I need to get your attention first. I need to get you to care about it enough to take the time to watch the video. And then at the end, I give my call to action, which is step three. Step three for me was, hey, comment free if you want the cheat sheet to be sent to you. A bunch of you have been commenting that, which I will send it over uh, as soon as I can. But that call to action then is telling people how they should engage with you. This is, this is gonna sound harsh, but all of us need to be told what to do. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fact. If you want someone to do something, especially in, uh, in a setting where they might otherwise just sit back and lurk and watch, which I know there's, there's some of you on here right now lurking, you haven't commented anything. I totally get it, I've been there. If you want the most out of this, you're gonna comment something though. Those who engage actually, uh, actually learn. But you gotta comment, you gotta, you gotta tell them what to do. So I always like to say comment blank below and I'll send you this thing, if that's what you're sending them. If it's a really cool blog post, comment post below or comment blog below and I'll send you the link to it. That would get you so many more people liking it and commenting on it than if you were to just say, here's the link, go watch it. And yes, it's a little bit annoying to have to send everyone the thing, but guess what? It is annoying, but it creates engagement, which is what creates conversation, which is what creates customer opportunities for you, okay? Holy cow, there's lots of awesome comments. Let me catch up. The gist of this is, if you create a curiosity-inducing headline, you get people to stop reading, then you move to giving them context for why they should care. You start to get them thirsty, right? Then we can say, hey, comment below, and I'll give you the drink to satisfy the thirst that I have just induced. Mark says free, Caleb says free, Amy says free, Russell says free, lots of y'all say free. Holy crap. Uh, Jeff says, fingers crossed, it's going to be on fire. Yes, it is. Caleb says, I've done it. Glad to hear it, man. Um, okay, now we'll get to the real comments. Yeah, it was the live stream checklist. Heck yeah, Jeff, you did help us with that. Belisa says, thumbs down, didn't work for me. Uh-oh, didn't work. Uh, can that be automated? I'm guessing you're saying reaching out to people. Can that be automated? Yes, it can be. You can get a virtual assistant who can automate the sending of things out to people through private message. And when people do comment on there, you either private message them with the link or you comment below and just drop them the link below. So you could totally do that. Heather says, I need to do this with my Facebook group. Heck yes, you do, Heather. Especially getting people into your Facebook group. Now just be aware that if you don't have a lot of people in your audience that are right for the thing that you're posting about, it's not gonna matter how great your content is. You gotta have the right people in the first place. So if we only have a group of 20 people, we gotta figure maybe 20% of them are gonna comment, so only five would comment. So while that's awesome, I would say that let's first focus on driving the audience to that place. So if you're trying to do this in your Facebook group, well, first I would do it on your personal profile. And before that, I would be friending people. And if you wanna learn how to do all of that and set up your profile right so that people friend you and then get into your group automatically, that's what Social Secrets is for. And a lot of people have said, holy cow, this totally makes it simple to do and it does. We give you sort of step-by-step, -step, here's what to have in your profile, here's what to have in your photo, here's what to have in your intro, here's what to have uh, below that so that people automatically go, go to where you want them to when you first send them a friend request. Um, but you totally have to have those people in the right spot before you can make this work. I love it, Heather. Got to come up with a good hook, line, and sinker. And Heather, the best way to come up with the best hook, line, and sinker is to test it because you don't know what's going to work. So we test it. If it flops, that does not mean that we are terrible 
that our hook was terrible, that our thing that we were offering them was terrible. It just means that, hey, they're giving us feedback. We're scientists. A lot of us have doctorates in here. We got trained on how to do data analysis. So let's do data analysis on ourselves. Uh, all right, let's see. Sherry says, Facebook about audience. Yep. Um, bunch of people saying free. Context for why they should care, Sherry. Yes, definitely the second thing. Jeff says, want some help sending that out, Alex? Yeah, yes, Jeff, 100%. <laughs> I would love that. Uh, we need, I need help commenting to people's um, comments on here. Jeff, it is healthyfunnel.com slash perfect post, which by the way, if you're on here, you just want to go check it out. Healthyfunnel.com slash perfect post. Um, <laughs> Jeff's, Jeff's been lurking. Sal, what's up, man? Um, but this is the formula. This is why it works so well because we're looking at what do people ultimately want? What do they want? Not what do they need? They need therapy. They need progressive exercise. They need this thing. No, they don't want the thing that you're trying to sell them. So talk about what they want. Nobody wants progressive movements. Nobody wants ne necessarily wants one-on-one -on -one therapy. What do they want? They want to get better. They want to go play soccer. They want to go like rock the soccer pitch after an injury while not feel, fearing for the life of their ACL, right? Lisa says, how do you automate sending the info? Yeah, you can't really automate it unless you are paying a virtual assistant or have someone amazing like Jeff who can help you send things out. And then Heather says, that's what I was thinking in personal profile to drive them to the group, have tons of the right avatars on my personal page, yes. And if you have Social Secrets, our mini course that we talk about after, so when we send you the cheat sheet, um, because we're good marketers, we have an opportunity to get Social Secrets, which is our, our mini course on all this. It's, it's really cheap for what we're giving. Um, but Heather, that's what we teach in there is like, how do we get all those people? And I'll tell you what, there's 5,000 of them sitting out there that you could have if you add them as friends and build your audience through your personal profile, which is what we're having our private coaching clients do right now. Um, and again, it's all in social secrets. So anyways, guys, this has been Tuesday Night Fever. Let me know if this was useful. I would love to hear what was one thing that you heard out of this. Don't be a lurker here, okay? Because you're much more likely to actually go do it if you write it down. What is one thing that you learned out of this that you want to go apply tomorrow in your next post? Was it the curiosity-inducing headline? What about it? Was it context for why people should care? What about it? I know that it's really difficult to get on Facebook and write a comment that's longer than one word. I know because I'm the same way, but I want you to write it out. There's so much clarity in putting your thoughts onto paper or in this case onto screen. So write out, what is it that you feel like you're missing? Okay, what's the thing that you wanna add in tomorrow? Maybe it's all three things. If you haven't yet, comment free, send you the link. If you made it all the way to the live stream, like thumbs up for you. <laughs> for sticking through it to the end. You guys rock. This has been Tuesday Night Fever, and we will see you on the next episode, which will be live from Florida because SSPT Live is coming at you soon. We'll see you there, guys. Bye.